is what it is. Can't change it. It's a challenge. I'll, I'll use a flash just for them walking down, just to fill it in a little bit. But I hate, I hate the look of the flash and the shade right in the background. We will not be kidding you. You guys are perfect right there.
give a helper a companion. If we continue reading, God puts man into a deep sleep. As he slept, he removed one of his ribs and replaced it with flesh. God then used the rib that he had taken from the man to make woman, presented it to her as a man. The man said, finally, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Name her woman, for she was made from man. Therefore, a man leaves his father and mother and embraces his wife. They become one flesh. This beautiful wedding party, the guest, the beauty of this moment, is not mere formality or ceremony. We have asked you here as witnesses and to hold Dan and Leah accountable. They stand here today to declare that they believe that it is God's sovereign will that they commit to one another and become one flesh. They believe that God has directed their steps in such a way to put all of you in their lives and to bring them to one another. Friends, I am so stoked to be here. And as part of this service, Rose and I have spent quality time getting to know you. We've known Leah a little bit longer since Dan came into her life. We have loved getting to see their relationship grow. I understand that you both have struggles and that you both have incredible strengths. You understand the obstacles and have done your best to prepare for this moment. But always remember, this is a work in progress and that our perfection is in Christ. The only true manual on marriage is the word of God in which our faith is derived. Marriage brings a new liberty according to the wisdom and design of God. What a blessed and glorious reality. You are not perfect, and you are not here because you are compatible puzzle pieces that just fit together. You are people who believe the gospel and have committed your life to the word of God, and with that, you both honor him with this marriage. Because you believe, you bring him more glory together than each one on their own. chosen to tie the three cords. For in Ecclesiastes 4.12, it states, the strand of three cords is not easily broken. Solomon lays this down for truth, that two are better than one, and more happily jointed than either of them could be separate, more pleased in one another than they could be in themselves only. Mutually serving to each other's welfare, and by a united strength, they are more likely to do good to others. For where two are closely joined in holy love and fellowship, Christ will, by his Spirit, come to them and make the third. Perhaps the most familiar verse in the entire Bible is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. But what is love? Love is a sacrificial service and the delight you find in someone you have invested your life in. For God so loved, he gave. For God so loved, he self-sacrificed. For God so loved, he came and died on behalf of guilty sinners. Dan, you have a responsibility not to feel loving, but to be loving to your bride, to the point of absolute love and sacrifice. Your love is to know no end. You are her provider and her protector. And even more importantly, you are responsible for Leah and your family spiritually as a leader, a spiritual example to your family. Her family has taken care of her and brought her to this point. But they should be able to sleep soundly at night knowing that you will do whatever it takes to protect Leah and to provide for her for the rest of her life. She should be able to sleep with a sense of peace that God has given her a provider, a protector, and a spiritual leader. I want to 
be clear. You are the spiritual leader of your family from this day forward. And Leah, no one has forced you to be here. You are to joyfully <laughs> You are joyfully to submit to him, to trust him, and to follow his leadership. You are making a choice today that Dan will be your provider, that he will be your protector, and you are to love him through submitting to his leadership, supporting him, caring for him, and through being the complement that God has designed you to be. As you look at one another, Dan, this is your bride. Leah, this is your husband. But let's see what the Bible has to say about it. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, it says, However, each one of you must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. The marriage between a man and a woman is to be a living testimony of the relationship between the Lord Jesus Christ and the church, which is his bride, whom he purchased with his own blood. His love for her knows absolutely no end. This is the marriage to which all other marriages are to point. This is the marriage to which your marriage is to point. Dan and Liam, your marriage exists because of the gospel, and it must be built upon the gospel. Your marriage is not to say to the world, look at that perfect couple, but your marriage is to say to the world, look at two sinners that need grace, who have found that grace in Jesus Christ. When you deal with one another and all of your weaknesses and all of your struggles, you may remember that you yourself need grace. And may you show grace to one another. The difficulties you will face in marriage are no reason to walk away. The more difficult it gets, the more opportunities you have to show grace. Now please bow with me. Lord, we thank you that you have brought us here to this moment on this day. We love Dan and Leah, and we are excited about you bringing them together. We pray, Lord, that this covenant being made today would be one that would honor you and glorify you for their lifetime. May the gospel be clear in this marriage, and may this marriage preach the glorious reality of Christ and the church to anybody who is willing to watch. Oh Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all, let's get down to business. <laughs> Damn, my man. Do you totally commit yourself to Leah? To be all that God and she needs you to be. Yeah. And Leah, do you totally commit yourself to Dan to be all that God and he needs you to be? Now the bride and groom have prepared, prepared their vows.
There is no beginning and there is no end. So your love, each other, is infinite. There is no end. <laughs> now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Based on the vows that you have made today in the sight of God and these witnesses, Dan and Leah, we rejoice with you that the two roads that brought you here will now be one as you leave. What God has joined together, let no man separate. You may now. Now, Dan and Leah have invited you all to cocktail hour in the barn. Now, keep your eyes peeled for all the specially marked ducks. And uh, family, please stay behind for pictures. Nobody heard me? Okay. No worries. I just used my voice here. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, Dan and Leah have, have invited you all to cocktail hour in the barn. Family, please stay behind for pictures. Oh, and please keep an eye out for specially marked ducks. We've got a, we've got a, uh, okay. <laughs> it's like we 
Let's go to the barn, Dale. Hey, how are you? 